Dear student, in this video, we will learn chapter number 4, Geometric Construction, Practice Set 4.2. If you have not subscribed my channel, please subscribe it today itself. Let's start. So, today, in the construction of tangent to the circle, we are going to draw tangent to the circle, but without using center, okay? Without using center of the circle, we have to construct a tangent. So in practice set 4.2, 4.2 question 3, okay, radius of the circle is given 3.6 centimeter. So we'll take the radius 3.6, you can see in the scale, we'll take the radius as 3.6 centimeter, okay, and we'll draw a circle, we'll draw a circle with that, see the circle now, with that given radius you have to draw the circle, okay students, so you can see that radius is 3.6 you all do the circle everyone please do the circle this is we can mark this as the center okay this is the center of the circle you can mark center now we have to draw tangent to the circle at any point so we'll take say any point so we'll take one point here now see this point is m we have marked this point as point M. Okay. So at this point M, now we have to draw tangent. Okay. We have to draw tangent. So the first step at this point M from here, we'll draw one chord. Okay. And you can mark this point as N. So this is a chord we have drawn MN. And the next step is, so we are going to take one more point here. Okay, I repeat, first we have taken point M here and then take another point, draw chord, take one more point here, say this is point P. Okay, so now next step, you are going to draw one triangle, you can draw an inscribed angle here, you will got draw one triangle. So in this type, without using center, you can draw this triangle. Okay, students. So now at this point M, at this point M, we have to draw tangent. Tangent will come this way. Okay. See the method. First to draw an arc, keep this rounder or compass on point P. See that? Keep it on point P, right? Okay. You can see now. Okay. Keep the compass on point P. And see now. And you draw an arc here. Okay, this way you can draw the arc. See, I repeat, keep on point P and draw arc. Don't change the distance. Now, with that same distance, keep this on point M now. Okay, keep this on point M. You can see that. And from, from down, you can see from down, you can draw the arc now. Until it should be there till this point, till the, this line. Okay, you can draw the arc. Okay, you can do straight now. So here we have drawn the arc, same arc we have drawn here from this point M, rounder is point M, we have drawn this arc. Okay students, you can do this. Okay, now after that, now you will take the length of this arc from this end to this end, this end to ten, this end, take this distance. See how we do that, keep the rounder here and and you can take this distance you can see that take this distance okay take this distance and now this you have to keep it on point this point on this mn this mn keep it here okay and you cut an arc on the previous arc see that cut an arc on the previous arc i repeat take this distance okay you can see distance and now rounder will be here on this point and cut an arc with the distance okay and after that now, if you are going to join this, see students, yes, with this point M, join with this arc, okay. So, you can see this line is a tangent, this line is a tangent to the circle, but see we have not used the radius, we have not used the radius, okay. But we can show the radius, afterwards we can show the radius, okay. We have this radius was 3.6, so we can write here, it is. 3.6 centimeter so 
so this is the tangent to the circle at point m okay you can have a look at it okay so practice set 4.2 question 5 okay radius is 3.4 cm given there is a chord mn given 5.7 cm we have to draw tangent at this point m and n but without using center of circle okay let's start with that first step we'll draw one circle with the radius 3.4 okay we'll take the radius 3.4 cm so see students you can take the radius 3.4 cm and we'll draw the circle first draw the circle with the given radius now next step is you have to draw chord mn of 5.7 how we draw the chord how we to draw the chord okay now mark one point here so this is point m chord is mn mn so mark one point m here okay now you take distance of 5.7 in the from the scale take distance of 5.7 okay and compass on point m okay compass this is this is this distance is 5.7 this is 5.7 cm compass on point m and you are going to cut an arc cut an arc here okay 5.7 and join this okay so this is m and this is point n well this distance is 5.7 cm okay this is 5.7 cm now we have to draw tangent at m and n okay tangent at m and tangent at n but without taking center so we are going to mark one more point here this is mark at point p okay and in this method we can construct one triangle see now we are constructing one triangle now okay so now we have to draw tangent at m and n first we'll draw tangent at m okay tangent at point m so see what we do take the rounder okay students point keep it on point p and draw an arc okay in small arc you can draw okay see in small arc you draw here see now okay i repeat keep on point p and draw an arc now don't change the distance with the same distance keep on point m you can see that keep on point m and okay and you can draw an arc from okay from this line or you can from down you can draw the arc this way okay you can draw the arc here and similarly we have draw tangent at n also see same step here from n at this point n also rounded at point n and you can draw the arc here also okay arc here also with the same arc we have drawn at m and n is student you can do it now okay now after this now we'll take this distance see we'll take this distance now from this point to this point take the distance you can see that okay student take this distance and now keep this where to keep this at this point on this chord i mean chord i mean this line okay keep the rounder here and cut this previous arc okay and similarly here see at cut cut at this point and cut this previous arc okay and now next step draw the tangent so we have got the tangent now one tangent okay at point m and here also second tangent you can see that second tangent at point n okay so you have got the two tangent students okay and the radius of the circle is given 3.3.4 so we can that you can mark here okay we can mark that radius so this center you can mark as o and this is 3.4 cm okay so this is the tangent we have drawn tangent at m and n but without using the center one tangent second tangent okay you can do it now 